Hello and welcome to the video Spring Security Authentication Success Handler Example with me Nam Hamming from CodeJava.net Through this video, I will guide you how to intervene the authentication process done by Spring Security to perform custom logics on successful login uh, For example, if the user has uh, logged in successfully into the application, we want to log the user's information or synchronize a local database with the user's information from a social if we use a single sign-on or display a page and that requires the user to update their details etc. Any custom logic uh, we want to perform upon successful authentication This is a typical authentication workflow uh, a user and the credentials in the login page and uh, submit the form to the server and uh, Spring Security will authenticate the user and if uh, login success, uh, successful authentication uh, the application will display the login success page uh, which is uh, typically the home page of the application and uh, Spring Security allows programmers to intervene this uh, authentication process by uh, creating an authentication success handler uh, here uh, and uh, this handler will be uh, executed by Spring Security upon successful authentication to perform custom logics and after that we can display the uh, login success page or any pages uh, we want I have an existing Java project uh, based on uh, Spring Boot and uh, I used uh, Spring Security for Authentication. Yeah, this is a Spring Security configuration class. Here yeah, you can see I configure form login for local database authentication and also what to login for social login. And I use the custom login page here. Uh, let me start this application. Uh, to show you the login function and as you can see in this uh, Spring Boot configuration file it is configured to be running on an embedded Tomcat server listening on port 80 and the context part is slash shop me now uh, use Chrome to access this Spring Boot application localhost slash shop, shop me here and I want to log in as the customer. So click log in here. Here you can see I can log in using username and password for local database or log in using my own GitHub account. I want to log in using my email and password. Here. Okay, I have uh, logged in successfully into the application. Here and I can see my uh, user details here. Okay. Now let me show you how to intervene the authentication process to add a uh, authentication success handler for the form login here. So here we use a method uh, success handler here, and for a simple. Uh, logics we can use an uh, anonymous class here so new uh, authentication success handler is an uh, anonymous class of type authentication success handler and you can see uh, we override the method on authentication success here uh, spring security we invoke this method upon successful authentication and we can access the HTTP service request object, uh, HTTP service response object, and authentication object. The authentication object uh, represents the authenticated uh, user object. For example, I want to print, print the name of the uh, authenticated user. So I uh, system line authentication get name. Username and we can uh, perform uh, our customer 
logics in this uh, method if the logic uh, is uh, simple we can use an uh, anonymous class like this right uh, inside the method associate so handler here and after performing the custom logic we need to uh, redirect uh, the user to a specific page in this case i want to direct the user to the home page as normal so in uh, spring uh, we can use the url path helper here to get the context path of the application helper equal new url path helper and context part is helper get context part for the given request and then we use the response object to send a redirect to the context part uh, you should use uh, this url part helper to get a context part uh, don't use uh, force last like this it we if you send direct uh, like this, uh, it will always uh, direct uh, the user uh, to the um, server uh, root context. But in uh, the Spring Security Spring Configuration file, we uh, configure the context part is last submit here. So this redirect we fail. Uh, let me show you. Set the changes and we are test the login uh, okay yeah login you see we got the http status f404 and you can see it directs uh, the user to the server uh, context root here but the application is configured uh, with this context part so that's why uh, we need to use uh, the url part helper to get the exact context part to redirect the user to sorry context part yeah okay now we can test again of course you can uh, redirect the uh, user to any basis you wish to but the context part must be the beginning of the url now test again login you see it redirects me to the application home page at this context part here and in the console view you can see in the console view you can see it prints as a username is my email address here that means the code in the on authentication success handler method uh, was actually invoked by uh, spring security upon successful authentication so for a very simple custom logic we can use an uh, anonymous class like this Next, I'm going to show you how to implement uh, an authentication success handler for more complex uh, logics we want to perform upon successful authentication. Um, here, I want to configure Spring Security to execute uh, my custom logics uh, for what to uh, authentication upon what to uh, successful authentication, and uh, I use the uh, complex business logic so i want to uh, create a new uh, class that implements the authentication social handler interface here so we uh, create a new class here for example a custom authentication success handler and we have this class uh, implement uh, the interface authentication social handler defined by uh, Spring Security. Yeah, yeah. 
and we need to override the uh, on authentication success to perform our custom logic upon successful authentication after the user has uh, logged in successfully here yeah. and uh, we need to uh, uh, annotate this class using the uh, component annotation because uh, we uh, declare an instance of the this custom authentication associate handler in the uh, web security config here we have auto y auto y the field of type uh, custom authentication associate handler here custom authentication associate handler because we use uh, auto y annotation to tell springs framework to automatically inject an instance of custom authentication associate handler uh, class here so in the class we need to use the uh, component annotation and here for the uh, OR2 login uh, I call success handler and assign custom authentication associate handler here And print something in this authent on authentication success handler method system but I'll not print like on what to successful login and uh, after we uh, perform some uh, custom uh, logic here. Uh, we need to reject the user to a specific page we want mm, I want to direct the user to the home page so I can copy this code okay that's it save the changes and test again now I log in using my own github account log in uh, via social single sign on so click login with github and you can see it automatically locks me in to the application using my own github account and you can see uh, my github name is nam java here and you can see in the console view it prints on or to successful login here that means uh, the on authentication success handler method here is uh, invoked by Spring Security after the user has been authenticated successfully. In case uh, our uh, authentication success handler depends on uh, another class as a cast the service class, uh, we can auto wire the service class here. Uh, for example, in our in my application, I want to use the customer services class here to perform some uh, logic uh, upon successful authentication uh, for example create new customer after what login success and update uh, customer after what login success so I need to auto y that class here private customer services here uh, service and then I can use the uh, service class here, service, uh, create new customer after was login success here, for example. And I, uh, I recommend you to, uh, instead of implement the authentication success handler, I recommend you to extend this class, sub, uh, subclass, this class extends uh, simple URL authentication associate handler so Spring Security uh, we uh, handle the uh, uh, redirect automatically and uh, you don't have to write this code and just go super on authentication success here and passing the object you know, request response and authentication here so this is a uh, uh, a good way to implement a custom authentication associate handler is sending the simple URL 
authentication such as handler. For example, when uh, is a um, user visit a secure page prior uh, to login and after login successfully, uh, Spring Security we redirect uh, the user to the best to the secure best that the user visit before before login. So that's why I recommend you to use this simple URL authentication associate handler and after perform custom logic uh, call super on authentication associate handler. Sorry, on authentication set method here. Yeah. So that's I have shared with you how to implement an authentication set handler to intervene the authentication process uh, executed by Spring Security to perform uh, to execute our customer logic upon successful authentication. I hope you will find this video helpful. Please subscribe and then like, comment and share this video. Thanks for watching.